What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Luna Classic Holders. Pfft, like, man, we're barely starting the weekend. There's a lot of things going on right now with LUNC. Buckle up. Number one, late yesterday, the price of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and major altcoins crashing. What happened with LUNC? Stable, sideways trading. That's a good one. Now, early today, we're barely getting a bunch of news. And the first one, proposal 4397 or 4793, better said, passed. Better saying that it's encouraging, it's calling all these CEXs, centralized exchanges, to burn and utilize the 1.2 tax burn. Now, is that something they're going to do? It's up to them, but obviously, here at the Terra Luna Classic community, we want that. So it's a give or take. Hopefully, it's going to happen. Another news. Do Kwon, Do Kwon, what's going on? The South Korean prosecutors are asking now the Interpol to put him on red notice. You, uh, did you watch the movie from The Rock, Red Notice, on, on Netflix? Well, pretty much the same thing. Now they're going to go actually and hunt him down. I mean, it seems that he's on the run for sure. And if you notice and watch my previous video on Duquan last week, basically he's like, no, I'm not on the run. I'm helping and cooperating with all the information. According to the South Korean prosecutor, that's not the case. So he was lying according to the authorities. And also... I mean, we watched the AMA. We listened to the AMA yesterday. Like, if you were if you weren't there for that one, bunch of great news when it comes to Burns. Basically, Edward Kim, one of the major developers at Terra Rebel, saying, "Once this thing comes in, what? Well, you're right. In less than 36 hours, we're gonna be having a 1.2 tax burn on-chain activation in the Terra blockchain. Basically, helping and allowing anyone who wants to come and burn exchange-wise." And he was saying. They're measuring about one to two, let's say 1.5 to 2 billion burn every single day. So we we did the math and 2 billion times 303 roughly, that is about $875,000. It's a lot of money. I mean, you think about it. When the price increases, are we going to have more burns or less burns? I'll leave that up to you, but it's always good to have the price low or really cheap so we burn more. You see what I'm saying? And of course, don't we have to forget what's going to happen tomorrow with the FOMC meeting? I'm sure that it's going to be 75 to 100 basis points and the whole market is going to be a mess. So you have to be ready for the volatility. Why don't you go ahead and smash the like button, everybody. Consider subscribing to the channel and turn on those notification bells Maybe it's barely Monday morning or so. I hope you guys are having an amazing, terrific start of the week. And well, yeah, I mean, Do Kwong news and right now the price so far, it's following my pattern, the one that I drew for you guys. It's urgent because we got to know what in the world is going on. And based on the experience I have, it's still following this consolidation level at around low 302 and 303. And that is what it's doing. I have the one hour, so why don't we go ahead and take a look at the four hours. So here it is. I have my Fibonacci levels, I have my two, uh, you know, support resistance right here at 3024 and 3036. But the other lines are Fibonacci levels. And that helped me understand what in the world the price is doing. And so far, we're not seeing any major breakouts. This is at 22%, nothing new because we're still in the level. So it's not like Terra Luna Classic exploding and there's rising. No, 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 no. It's just sideways trading right now. That is what it is. No hype, just sideways trading that is what terra luna classic is doing right now the rsi on the four hour looks good looks really healthy but just take a look at bitcoin take a look at chronos or ethereum i mean wow just keep, kind of gives you a different perspective and going to coin market cap i realized that out of all the top 50 cryptos the only one that has more than or over five percent gain it was terra luna classic so Kind of come to the realization that has an inverse relationship that like we've been saying for a while to Bitcoin and it still is pumping even though the rest of the prices were dumping. Yesterday when I made a video about, you know, this uh, market is going to be very ugly and it is. I mean, if we have that 100% basis or 100 basis points tomorrow, I mean, brace yourselves because, it, yeah, for sure, I think it's going to help cool down the economy by raising the interest rates and, I mean, making things a little bit more expensive to borrow. But us in the market, it's going to hit us really hard. And of course, equity stock market Nasdaq that follows Bitcoin is going to be insane. And let alone Terra Luna Classic, what we've seen before is that this price 
does not follow Bitcoin and it continues pumping because whales wants to they want to make money and they buy LUNC so far for that. That is the analysis, my friends, so far. Now, 47.93, that's the proposal so far. So has passed with 99% saying yes, which makes total sense. Thanks to Classic Crypto for keeping us up to date. And yeah, it is what it is. I mean, here it is. I mean, it makes total sense. Why wouldn't they pass this? But I've been looking at some of the comments that makes total sense. And I'm going to highlight one. Uh, here it is, but this is not pointless. Uh, we cannot force them and they already know what they want to do it. So, I mean, it's good to kind of keep the entire community, um, I will say, cohesive together and in one single thought, you know, knowing that they want to have KuCoin, Binance and all the exchanges doing this, uh, which is, you know, passing the uh, own chain uh, burn. But at the end of the day, it's up to them. We cannot force them. I mean, which makes total sense. But for sure, they want to have this. And it's pretty cool. Cap completely pass. Do coin, everybody. South Korean prosecutors ask Interpol to issue a red notice. So like if you watch the movie, right, with The Rock, here it is. And I mean, I read some of the other different tweets and basically no, he's not cooperating with the South Korean, um, you know, um, institutions and, and all of these people that are trying to find, you know, the bottom of this. And now he's once again trending on Twitter. So. Fall crypto developer denies he's on the run from investigators, but it seems that he is. And well, Duquan, once they find you, I don't think it's going to be pretty for the prices of, you know, the two projects. But finally, we're going to see what in the world is going on. In my opinion, everybody, it does seem that he's going to get caught. I think he has to get caught now that uh, he's being looked at by his own country. Looking at the prices, everybody, yesterday we went close to the 800 billion. It was rejected this morning. So people are starting to buy more but that does not mean that we're not going to have lower prices that is kind of like the main purpose of the video yesterday that man things are looking not too shabby and these prices can come down i mean i'm going to go ahead and refresh this for us and i'm going to show you in the last 24 hours right it will go down it's all red it's all red it's all red it's all red and boom four percent you changed right now but it was six two percent six percent we have chills so you take a look at this one everybody in the top 50 only chills and l u and c are doing well it's because of the holders that are just you know buying and holding not selling so much not to the other ones right just notice we got probably a 150 million burn here it is 96 million so that is 100 close yeah because it was 4.0 yesterday now it's 4.1 so 100 million burn Let's go. We got more burn. And of course, the bear market is still here. So fear is very, very tough. Now you guys have it. The urgent information. Now that you know of what in the world is going on right now, very soon with the 1.2 tax activation in the on-chain, it's going to be pretty massive since now you know that the AMA went really well with Kim, with Vegas and other different terror rebel developers and people. And we were there yesterday in the lab. So thank you so much for joining. But it seems that they don't want to be the centralized validator. They want, you know, Terra Classic to be decentralized and, you know, for the people. And they're forecasting a bunch of burns ahead. That is exciting. I'll see you next time, everybody. Thank you so much. Barely Monday. Peace.